we're all individual, I think, and I think that's one of the main things. You can do as much or as little as you want, and the more you do, the younger you stay, I find. That's you very know, true. We can, all, we can all sit around and not bother and not do things and that, but this is the thing about the Manx retirement. You, you join and you take out what, exactly what you want. You know, you don't have to do everything, but the more you do, the more fun you have. And so it's sort of like a starting point, I suppose, Howard, isn't mm. it, for people that have retired, if they're not quite sure where they want to go with their retirement. Just, just right. to, yeah. Well, it started off as a friendship group, and that was the original intention by uh, John Naylor, who set it up way back in 1989. He started off as a friendship group, but we had to change the name because it was attracting people who thought it was a dating agency. <laughs> Well, it could still be. It, exactly. <laughs> and it has been a dating agency. We have had a number of relationships that have developed during the course of the year uh, since the organisation has been going. But the, fundamentally, it's like Debbie just said, um, yes, we all have busy lives to lead when we're working. But of course, work interferes with your social life. We all know that. And uh, So when you retire, you can pick and choose what you want to do and when you do it. And the very word retirement, I don't think I can name a dozen or so members of the MRA, probably more, they haven't retired as such. They're still doing something. They're still doing some earned income from whatever they want to do. But you do what you want to do and you can pick and choose. And the beauty of the MRA, as we call it, the Manx Retirement Association, is we have a whole list of different events. We have about, in the month, there's about 20, 30 events taking place. Wow. And you can pick and choose. Some of them are regular, like playing whist uh, or uh, going to stretch and flex at the NSC and so on. Uh, others are one-offs, which we do visit places. We go on holidays. We do all sorts of stuff. And it's just a great means. And the great part of it is when you retire, you meet a new set of circle of friends. And you get friendly with different friends, different walks of life, um, whatever they've done for their career. We're all, we've all got a common goal, which is to enjoy ourselves uh, at this age. And... Um, just get on with it. And um, gone are the days when you, I, I think my son, he thinks to me, even now he says to me, what have you been doing? You're retired. And I think he thinks that my wife and I sit at home with a rug round our knee, just reminiscing and watching daytime television. I would love the luxury of sometimes just sitting and watching daytime <laughs> television, but it never happens. I love that. And it, there are over 300 social activities a year that are provided yeah. by the MRA. Uh, Debbie, what are some of the things that you've been involved with since you joined the association? Well, I... <laughs> I started off at the stretch and flex. I progressed then to whist. Then there's a lot of eating goes on as well involved. <laughs> Mahjong. Oh yeah, that's a new one, isn't it? The Mahjong. Relatively new. So it is. It's just you know, this walk. There's you know, this week I think walk on Monday. Mm. Wasn't the Tuesday there was coffee morning and whist. And there was whist. Wednesday. We had a rummy cub yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Today we're stretch and flex. And bowls this afternoon. And bowls this afternoon. It's. it's Non-stop. Non-stop. Tomorrow's non Mahjong. That, Tomorrow's that, Mahjong. That's just one week. That's a, a week at random. So your diary is basically, essentially, completely full up. This is not retiring. No, this, <laughs> no, this, no. Is, this is where you have to step back and say, I want, say to, I want a day off. I'm not doing that. I didn't do whist on Tuesday. I had something else on on Tuesday, so I, I didn't do it. Yeah. But do you know, Howard made a really good point there, Debbie, didn't he, about the fact that there's this social element to it, which is really crucial because if, as you get later in life, there is a potential that you could end up quite lonely. And so this is a really important thing. It is. It's very important. And a lot of people I've noticed, and I've only been a member for two and a half years, something like that, I've noticed and watched people join and see them change, visibly you change. You do, and I think that's what it is. You know, it's initially, initially, I know when I started initially, it was quite daunting because you don't know anybody. You know, I didn't know anybody, you know, oh, and... <laughs> <laughs> we all know Debbie. Within, <laughs> no, but within within weeks you start going to things and stuff like this and, and mixing and stuff. And then, you know, even people that you meet at the MRA, they'll sort of say, have you tried such and such? And then you do something with them outside the MRA. So, you know, it's, 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 it is. It's a huge social thing. And it really involves people, doesn't it, it Howard? Is, of all walks of life, there's no um, divide, uh, no. gender, anything. Um, it's just everybody and we all mix in together sometimes we see somebody once a month or come once a month. they might come for the monthly lunch or they might come for the, the, the walk we have a month walk twice a month uh, it doesn't matter you do what you want pick and choose and uh, it's just a great um, camaraderie as well I think is the word and uh, as it was set up originally as a friendship group that probably is the, a better name for it but obviously it's for people who have got the time to do things that they couldn't do because they were too busy working. I presume you've also maybe uh, introduced a certain element of stargazing, Howard? Um, we have been in the observatory a few times and I'm always telling them about things about stargazing but uh, yeah, it, 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 it's like that's my interest and others have got other interests and they pass them along as well and uh, it just 
good fun. An interesting, we, we were actually just recorded uh, this month's or this season's um, Night Skies programme, which will go out on Tuesday evening at six o'clock. And when we were talking about it, Howard, you mentioned you'd just been to Scotland with the MRA. That's right. We had a, oh, we had a wonderful time in Scotland. It was actually cancelled in 2020 and we finally got around to doing it in 2023. And there's about 25 of us all together went. And you know, we had an absolutely wonderful time. The main reason we went was to see the Edinburgh Tattoo, which was wonderful. <coughs> But uh, it just was a great trip. And again, we, we were doing things in the evenings. We went out on the coach. We had great fun. And uh, it was just a five-day break. And uh, we've done that now. We did do it every year for a number of years. But then COVID got in the way. So we've reintroduced it again this year. So Again, it's really important to go away with a group of people. Oh, you know, yeah. that just makes such a difference. And it's it, organized. It and and it, you don't have to think about anything. Everything was done for us. And yeah. uh, I mean, I can't walk too well, as you've probably seen. Um, but the driver and all my, com- my fellow uh, guests, um, you know, MRA members couldn't have been more helpful. It was it was absolutely wonderful. Well, it does sound. And the wonderful. weather wasn't brilliant, but it was good enough. And uh, we went to places I'd never heard of the um, the Kelpies, the Kelpies in Falkirk. Uh, look it up on the internet if anyone wants to know we'll what have they to. are. Yeah. And it was wow. It really was the wow factor. And the, this was something that's comparatively new in Scotland, um, compared to all the antiquities they've got in Scotland. And we saw these things. I thought, wow. And it was just a great trip, and we're looking forward to the next one. So the only thing that's missing is a battle rap class. We haven't, <laughs> we haven't got, got a battle rap class <laughs> yet. It could happen. <laughs>